So can you commute on an electric skateboard? This is what I've been asking myself since I bought mine. If you can realistically do a journey that would be done by tube or car to get you all the way to work and home again. I know people have been using things like booster board as last mile vehicle. So taking you from say the tube to your office, back to the tube and then home. With a range of five to seven miles, the booster board really isn't an option for commuting. But since getting my Carbon GT, I've been able to get a range of 10 to 16 miles on the AT wheels and 20 to 30 miles on street wheels. This seems like a definite opportunity to commute just by skateboard. So let's put this to the test. I've picked a journey, which is Cycle Track CS7, South London to Central. This is Collierswood Tube Station, following the Northern Line all the way up to the Thames, fi uh, finishing at Southwark Bridge. It's about eight miles, and the website says a bicycle about 45 minutes. I looked on um, TFL website, the Tube should do it in about 25 minutes, and a bus will take one and a half hours. So for this, I'm going to take the Carbon GT with some AT wheels. This is perfect for handling the London roads. Um, I'm going to carry everything I need, so backpack, cameras, bottle of water and some other gear that I normally take out with me. I'm going to put it to the test. Can you do a commute from South London all the way to Central London? Is it faster than public transport? And uh, right, let's see how it goes. Okay, I've just set up all my gear. Here I am at the start of CS7. Uh, Collierswood Station is just there. Um, I'm going to set off and film the whole journey into Central London. So as you can see, I made it easily. 
I had a friend with me on a bike. I had to keep slowing down to let him catch up. The skateboard was so much faster. We hit so many red lights on the way, which stopped our time quite a bit, but we did it in about 35 minutes. Um, this is just 10 minutes slower than the tube and an hour faster than taking buses. So I think I could do it in half an hour, maybe a little faster depending on traffic, traffic lights and things like that. So maybe we could do it at the same speed of the tube. I'm not sure I'll have another go on my own later. But as you can see, the Carbon GT is an absolute beast. It got there with loads of battery left. Uh, I think the controller read 7.7 .7 miles. It was easy. So um, definitely, if you're thinking about it, Carbon GT with some 80 wheels can handle the street no problem. Carrying a backpack full of gear and a beautiful way to travel rather than sitting on a tube or a hot smelly bus. Thanks for watching. Oh,